Speaker, yesterday in this House, Minister Gordon indicated that stage that the risk of stage eight load shedding could not be ruled out as an option to prevent total grid collapse. And I hope Honourable Mahwale is listening. At this very moment, more than half of ESCOM's coal-powered fleet is offline for one reason or another. Our energy availability factor, which is basically the percentage of ESCOM's installed capacity that is actually generating electricity, is at a record annual low of uh, 58%. And the three-month outlook indicates a rough road ahead with a high risk of load shedding. And yet this government appears to be in complete denial of the urgency and seriousness of the electricity crisis. The risk mitigation independent power producers procurement program intended to add a much needed two gigawatts of electricity to the grid in a very short space of time has been mired in controversy and unable to reach financial close. Various government departments and entities are pointing fingers at each other as to the cause of this delay. But one issue that cannot be washed away is this government's complete ineptitude and silo mentality when it comes to dealing with this crisis. As an example, consider the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, whose ridiculous local content requirements for RMIPP and REIPP bidders. In a country where the availability of a consistent, reliable electricity supply is a massive stumbling block to economic development and employment, it doesn't make any sense to require significant local content, especially when local component manufacturers are unable to meet the demand of the bidders. And the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy's response when I raised this in committee was, well, they, if they want exemptions, they must talk to the IPP office. They know what to do, except they have and no exemptions have been forthcoming. Chairperson, I have on numerous occasions in this house pointed out what needs to be done. But Andre de Reiter, the CEO of ESCOM, earlier this year identified six things that can alleviate the short-term supply of electricity. So perhaps he'll be taken more seriously. Firstly, purchase excess power produced by IPPs over their contract PPAs. Secondly, remove the bottleneck on grid connections for IPPs and upgrade the transmission infrastructure. Then, NERSA and government must support ESCOM's standard offer for small generators to supply the grid on a three-year contract. We need to address the very onerous regulatory framework for private generation and municipal uh, procurement. And we must exempt ESCOM from certain PFMA requirements to procure parts for maintenance. Lastly, we must address the shortfall of revenue at ESCOM from a failure by municipalities to meet their financial obligations. I would go one step further and tell Minister Mantashe and Minister Gordon and the rest of the ANC Poverty Cabinet to remove their ideological blinkers and recognize this situation for what it is, a crisis requiring urgent, bold and decisive action to quickly bring new generation online. We can't afford to wait if we are to address poverty and unemployment in South Africa. It is time this government got out of the way and allowed the private sector and municipalities to do what it is clearly unable to do, give power to the people. Thank you. Yeah.